Hi guys, it's Mrs. Laffey. Um, today we're doing Unit 7, Lesson 4, Ordering Rational Numbers. So um, the targets, I can compare and order rational numbers. I can use phrases like greater than, less than, and opposite to compare rational numbers. And we're on 4.1, so how do they compare? This should be easy for you guys because we have been doing this for a long time. Um, they're also called inequalities, and it's important to know that because um, that's what they call them when you take tests. And sometimes we've been doing them all year, and then people come up and ask me, what is an inequality? Well, that's what these greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. They're called inequalities. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my workbook pages. Um, and you can either follow along on paper or uh, print these out. Okay? So we're using greater than, which is this one, less than, or equal to. To compare each pair of numbers, be prepared to explain your reasoning. All right, so we know 12 is to the left of 19 on the number line, so it is less than. 212 is greater than 190. 15 is greater than 1.5. 9.02 is 0. 0.2 and 9.2. So this has a 0 in the tenths place, so it's going to be less than 9.2. 6.050 and 6.05. Those are equal. And we have 0.4. And 9 fortieths and 0.4 would be 4 tenths and if you multiply that by 4 to get 40th you would get 16 fortieths so 9.4 uh, is greater than 9 fortieths 19 24th and 19 21st. Um, because it's the same numerator, you can say 1 24th and 1 21st. And so that makes 1 21 is greater. So this one is greater, that one is less than. 16 17 and 11 12. Um, so they're both, so this is one unit from a whole. So if you had 17 17 and this one is one unit, this is 12 12. Um, 1 17 is less than 1 12. So we're going to say that is less. One seventeenth is less than twelve. It's tough on those fractions because the numbers get bigger. As they get bigger, the fraction. Think about a piece of pizza. Would you rather have one half of a pizza or one fourth if you like pizza? So you would rather have one half. One fourth gets smaller as the denominator gets bigger, and your piece actually gets smaller. All right, so we are not doing 4.2 because I'm not giving you ordering rational number cards. Um, we're going to move on to number three. And uh, you have use each of the following terms at least once to describe or compare the values of points M, N, P, and R. So if we're going to label this, I'll call it negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And then this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we can use a lot of, this is going to vary by whoever responds, but um, I can show you how to do it. So because, remember, to the right of 0, if you're going this way, it's greater than, these are greater than, these are less than. So if I'm going to use greater than, I'm going to say R is 
greater than n, right? R is greater than n. If I have to use less than, uh, you could say m is less than p. The opposite, well, we have p is 5 and m is negative 5. So um, m and p are opposites. And then a negative number, n, n or m is a negative number, so that you only have to do one, n is a negative number. Okay. Now, um, I did, we're talking about rational and irrational numbers. Um, there's a really good explanation on it on Khan Academy, and I put that video um, in with this lesson. So I hope you watched that first so that you have a good understanding of what a rational number is. Um, basically, it's all of the numbers that can be made into a fraction or a decimal, which are positive numbers, negative numbers, decimals, fractions. Um, irrational numbers are like pi that continue on and don't have an ending. Um, so watch that video and get some more information on that. So um, for part two, tell what the value of each point would be if p is equal to two and a half. And we're using that chart from the other page. Oh, so if p was two and a half, then m would be negative two and a half if we're talking about opposites. So that would mean, let's see, that this is all right. So this one can be a little bit tricky, but I've um, made the original number line that was on the other page. Okay, so that was the original number line, and then I made a new number line for two a that says it p is two and a half, what would the other letters be? So if p is two and a half, then, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six to there, then this is going to be two, one and a half, one, one, uh, two, one and a half, one, and then one half, Oh, I go wrong here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I put P at the sixth place, and it's supposed to be at the fifth place. So if P is two and a half, then this one is two, this one is one and a half, this one is one, and this one is one half. Now going the opposite way, this would be negative one half, negative one, negative one and one half, two, negative two and a half. So P and M are still opposites. All right, for B, 
it says n is equal to 0 0.4 and it's the second one negative 0 0.4 okay so immediately you have to kind of think of well what would this be then there's only half of the distance to zero it's going to be a 0 0.2 a negative 0 0.2 so for counting by twos going negatives, it's going to be negative 0 0.6, negative 0 0.8, and then negative 1.0. So going the other way, you'll have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6. So R would be 1.6. P is 1, N is zero, negative 0 0.4, and N would be negative 1. Okay, for C, it says R is 200. So I want to make sure, since my P was in the wrong place, I want to make sure my R is in the right place. So yeah, it's three spaces to the right of P. So if this is 200 and you have to, okay, so this is zero. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces to R. So I know half of that would be four spaces and that would be 100. So then I know there's three spaces in between. Halfway again would be 150. So I know this is 175 in between that and between one and 150 is 125. And then 75, 50, 25. So we're counting by 25 on this one. So this would be negative 25, negative 50, negative 75, 100, and negative 125. Okay, and then on D, um, we have 0 here, and M is equal to negative 15. So if m is negative 15, uh, let's see, so 15, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15 divided by 5 is 3, so we're counting by 3, negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, negative 15, this is 0, and then we go up by 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24. Okay, so it's, uh, you can make your number lines, what they're trying to show here is like you can count by twos, you can count by threes, you can count by hundred, you can count by a decimal, one half, you're still, um, you can change it any way you need to to make it fit whatever you're counting. Okay, so that's the end of lesson four. The are you ready for more will be in Google Class, I mean in Seesaw. And you are to do the uh, practice problems, either on, uh, you can print the paper or do it on a separate sheet of paper. And then go over those the next day with the video that I leave you. And do the pull down and turn that in and Google Classroom. All right, thanks.